Yeah, Professor Ramesh. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're very happy to have Hussein Movasati from IMPA uh, Brazil, Rio Brazil, and he will tell us about uh, hot cycles for hypersurfaces. Um, the cubic surfaces, okay. sorry, I missed that word, cubic. Okay, oh, thank you, cream, Ramesh. Yeah. Thank you, Devendra, okay. for uh, for giving uh, this opportunity to talk uh, in this series of seminars. Okay, uh, well, I decided to talk about the, uh, my works on uh, this uh, hyper uh, high, high cycle for hypersurfaces, and uh, okay, let me see. There are the okay. So, uh, well, uh, a lot of, uh, I start to write uh, the two books. Uh, uh, the first book uh, is published by International Press. The second book is a Brazilian colloquium. There are a lot of things to tell, but, uh, 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 but I will try to focus on uh, uh, one of the main goals of uh, actually uh, the, the, the whole uh, uh, project, which contains this, these two books, and so let me put, I have put uh, some Persian uh, 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 um, poem here. And actually uh, this, uh, this poem is a kind of, uh, shows my feeling of my, uh, uh, my, uh, my feeling regarding Hodge theory. For a moment, I want really to forget Hodge theory because I did so much computation that at, at, at some point I was very tired <laughs> of all my computations. But uh, so let's 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 uh, start. So I, I will start with the the the, the, the tail of uh, twenty seven line of a smooth cubic surface. So the, this is a very very well known uh, well known uh, uh, fact in algebraic geometry, and it has fascinated a lot of uh, generations that any cubic uh, surface MP3 has a 27 line. Always I am working over complex numbers. So this is uh, P3, uh, uh, P. And at the end of the day, a cubic uh, surface is given by a homogeneous polynomial in, uh, in uh, four variables, degree F equal to three and uh, so uh, we, 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 we projectivize this, the zero set of this guy, and we get uh, a surface in P3. And here I have put uh, one, uh, one picture. Uh, uh, if you do Google, you will, get, you will get a lot of others. I don't know about what are these lines popping up in, by the way, let's go. So this is the Klebisch surface and uh, and uh, you see that in this case, uh, it has uh, this. Uh, so here we are actually the, for the picture, we are talking about uh, the, the real uh, uh, surface, the real part of this one when f is defined a real number. And we have taken a, a, a fine coordinate uh, R3 and P3R, and then uh, one can make the pictures because our world is also three dimensional. So we can uh, visualize these things. Okay, so, but, uh, well, but let's, uh, uh, when you go, uh, uh, well, the, 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 the main, uh, the protagonist of this, this talk would be the Fermi uh, variety, in particular for Fermi cubic surface, which is written here, you can write down this 27 line very explicitly, what you do, for example, uh, you just uh, put together, uh, you consider these two monomes together, you consider these two monomes together, you, you factorize this one. When you factorize this one, you, give, you will get uh, uh, one factor here. And when you factorize uh, this one, you will get another factor here. So Z, zeta one and zeta two are third root of uh, minus one. And then you will see that this 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 line uh, is inside uh, is inside uh, uh, your Fermat variety. 
And uh, in how many ways you can do this one? First of all, if uh, it depends on uh, uh, how we put, for example, here x0 together with x1 and x2 together with x3, but you can do in uh, and uh, also x0 together with x2 and x0 together with x3 and so on. In this way, you for the permutation of, uh, of x0, x1, x2, x3, such that the, uh, uh, such that uh, the, doesn't matter the, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, anyway, not all permutation because uh, because uh, uh, because of this structure here, and then we we choose also third roots of one minus one. There are also nine possibility here, so at the end the three times nine will be twenty seven, and this will give a uh, twenty seven lines of the Fermat cubic surface, and of course uh, this this the cubic uh, these lines uh, you can see it because uh, we have they are in the complex domain. So, but a lot of pictures in the internet you will find for the real uh, cubic surface with real lines and so on. Okay, so this is uh, so uh, so this is the twenty-seven lines of the cubic surface. Oh, where is my mouse? Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, go to the higher dimension. As I said, the product of when it's of this talk is this uh, is this uh, uh, Fermat uh, uh, variety. Uh, uh, as I said, always uh, you have to do the projectivization uh, so that it becomes a variety here. It's a smooth variety. And in a similar way, you can. Uh, uh, I, I can uh, create, uh, I have a lot of uh, projective space of, uh, uh, of dimension n half uh, inside this uh, Fermat variety. Uh, the, same, uh, the same thing that I did in the case of the cubic surface, I just put two, two variables together, factorize it here, theta 2d will be the 2d, uh, theta 2d is the 2d uh, root of unity. And uh, and and then uh, so uh, and uh, and in any case, in, the, in the whole talk, n will be even number because uh, uh, I will talk about high cycles, algebraic cycles, just of dimension n half. So n will be an even number. And you see that uh, when uh, uh, I have this uh, projective space in type inside the uh, Fermat variety. From now on, I will call them uh, algebraic cycles. And again, a uh, simple uh, combinatorics shows that this uh, I have uh, uh, this number of this projective uh, spaces or algebraic cycles inside Fermat. And uh, for uh, for uh, n uh, uh, and for cubic uh, surfaces, for cubic surfaces, this is exactly. This is exactly uh, uh, 27 line that, uh, that we have. So this is a kind of uh, uh, natural generalization of 20 sign just in the case of, uh, of, uh, of a Fermat. Uh, okay, that I think scrolling down will produce this line. Let me avoid this line. Okay, so uh, I will be, Talk about the uh, middle cohomology of uh, hypersurfaces. And uh, so let me re remind uh, uh, how big it is uh, this middle cohomology of uh, the smooth hypersurface. So its dimension, it is, uh, this is usually it is big, it is this number. And uh, and in the case of, uh, in the case of, uh, let's say, if you want to keep in mind the case of a cubic surface, in the case of a cubic surface, it is this number is is, is seven. And uh, so, and uh, let me say that in the case of hypersurfaces, one uh, most of the time one uh, one consider middle cohomology, because by uh, by uh, Lefschetz. theorems. Lefschetz hyperplane section theorem and Lefschetz uh, hard Lefschetz theorem. 
it uh, turns out that H M X, let's say uh, Z for M not equal to the middle one, it will be always uh, zero or, uh, or Z depending on whether M is odd or M is even. So it's still there are some, uh, some interesting Hodge theory going on if you are interested on in integral Hodge conjecture and so on, but uh, let's, uh, let's uh, forget this trivial uh, co uh, cohomology. So um, we will be in the middle cohomology on the, of the hypersurface. And, uh, and uh, all these algebraic cycles that I wrote at the end, it will produce elements in HN. So this P n half, it, this, is, this is the complex dimension. And it, but uh, it's a real dimension, it will be n, that's why, uh, and it is compact, so it will give elements in, in, uh, in um, this uh, homology. Uh, the people uh, in algebraic geometry, usually they don't like homology and uh, they prefer cohomology. So, let me see how I can avoid these lines. Okay, uh, so and anyway, I will use both brackets uh, for the class of the algebraic cycle in homology or cohomology. I will not distinguish them. But anyway, if you write uh, by Poincaré duality, if you uh, you you go to uh, uh, cohomology, you will get element in H n x zero z which will be also in uh, this piece of the uh, Hodge decomposition. So let me rem uh, re remember that when you complex y your cohomologies, oh, let's say x, c, this will have a, uh, uh, let's, let me, let me write better. Okay, so if you complexify your cohomology, this will have a decomposition into PQ forms, because in the complex domain, differential forms have uh, 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 holomorphic and anti-holomorphic differential forms. But anyway, since N is even in the middle of this Hodge decomposition, there will be N half and half, and so, and then uh, you will see that uh, you will see that all these uh, your algebraic cycles uh, is uh, are this inter intersection. Now this is this is the the, the first class examples of uh, Hodge uh, class uh, in this talk. This is in general valid for any algebraic cycle of dimension n half in our context. And uh, so uh, maybe I do also this the definition. So the idea is that the classes here will be called Hodge cycles. So this is actually the definition of a Hodge cycle. And, uh, and so you see that the, the, the cohomology class of algebraic cycles of our, our Hodge cycles, this is a kind of a trivial statement. But uh, the Hodge conjecture says that uh, anyway, the, any Hodge cycle will be also uh, uh, an algebraic cycle. If uh, it turned out that, for example, uh, this, this Hodge conjecture is not true if you use Z, so the, the version that is still it is open, here you have to here put uh, Q, rational numbers. Anyway. But for, for I, I, for the whole talk, I will work over, over Z because uh, uh, <clears throat> Because uh, even in the cases that I will say that uh, the Hodge conjecture is true, uh, the thing uh, actually the integral Hodge conjecture is true. Okay, so uh, we got a very big cohomology with a lot of interesting uh, uh, Hodge uh, uh, Hodge cycles or Hodge classes. So what I want to do? Let me. Okay. So let's return back to the to the to the cubic surface. So the phenomenon of a cubic surface will not repeat for hypersurfaces and over 
our uh, algebraic cycles. And the reason is this one. So if you consider hypersurfaces, uh, which contains a linear projective space of dimension in half, you can compute uh, it's uh, this, uh, this uh, so the, uh, the space of hypersurfaces, basically it is parameterized by what? By homogeneous polynomials in uh, n plus one variable, let's say call, put D here, this is the space of homogeneous polynomials of degree D. Let's cut uh, out the discriminant, uh, uh, discriminant will parameterize singular hypersurfaces. So in this, uh, so you will get, uh, let's say, uh, open uh, Zariski subset of, uh, of uh, this guy. And in this open, uh, so this, uh, so this means that uh, this T belong to T, it means that you have, you have the corresponding hypersurfaces. So here I will use the, uh, this notation T. So if you compute the, the space of uh, hypersurface containing a linear, so this is the linear, uh, uh, so it is, it is line in the case of surfaces, it is a plane in the case of uh, fourfolds and so on. So the, its co-dimension will be uh, this one. So this means that, uh, uh, but uh, this means that uh, in some sense that the generic X will never contain uh, this one. Of course, if this is uh, not zero, and you see that this 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 number is only this is zero, uh, uh, actually just for n and d and uh, two and three, which is the gain again cubic surface. So apart from cubic surfaces, uh, uh, hypersurface containing uh, uh, projective space of dimension n half, it's a kind of a rare. So. Uh, so what we'll have, so this, this is space, it will, uh, it's, it, it, uh, I, I will use it. This will be actually the first example of the Hodge loci. So maybe uh, I make another picture. I don't know, my handwriting is. Okay, maybe I make another picture. So let's consider this big space, this T space, which parameterizes smooth hypersurfaces. So I will, Zero for me will be the Fermat. That's why I wrote the Fermat as X zero, if you remember the notation. And actually you will see that this, uh, this is space that I am talking about, about it, uh, it's a kind of very singular uh, space and it crosses the Fermat variety many times. And uh, how many times it crosses exactly this, this number that uh, I wrote, uh, one, three, uh, five, blah, blah, blah n minus one, n plus one, d, n half plus one. And so the, I, today I will talk about uh, this sub varieties of this, uh, this parameter space t. And in a minute, this, 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 this local branches of uh, this, this, this variety, which I'm talking in this slide, will be uh, the first examples of the Hodge dose. Let me see if I have something done. No, okay. Okay, this. Okay. So first of all, let before going to, to the Hodge Lotsai stuff, let me remember very, very uh, uh, old fact. I don't know if, uh, even though it's a very old fact, I don't know how uh, many people in algebraic, how many students in algebraic, geomet algebraic geometry can actually prove this. That uh, from the C infinity point of view, I mean, algebraic varieties are given by polynomials, they're complex manifolds, and so on. But if you consider them uh, as a C infinity manifold, actually the topological type is just uh, uh, one. I mean, in the case of hypersurfaces. So any two smooth hypersurfaces of degree D and dimension, and they are, they are the same object. So there will be a C infinity map. Uh, uh, infinity isomorphism between x1 and x2. And of course, this is not, not algebraic not, and, and not uh, holomorphic. So this is distinguished uh, between the topological context and algebraic and the complex context. And so the, uh, so, um, well, uh, actually this has to do with, uh, uh, more, uh, let's say this, it's the beginning of Picard-Lipschitz theory. 
So remember that my, my parameter space T, so there was this Fermat variety, let's say, let's write my Fermat variety as like a, like a curve of genus two. So this is X zero. And then uh, I will, when I perturb this Fermat variety, let it go to uh, another parameter. And if I take a kind of pass from uh, zero to one, let's say this is a real pass. And then uh, I will have a, another uh, XT. And actually there will be up to homotopy, uh, there will be a kind of unique isomorphism between uh, X zero and XT. Well, yeah, it's unique in the homology, but anyway, yeah, this, this, this path will give uh, this, uh, this infinity isomorphism. So uh, I will use this fact uh, uh, because uh, the idea is that I'm looking for Hodge cycles and Hodge cycles are topological cycles. They are not uh, uh, objects in algebraic geometry. Yeah, so they are, um, uh, so let me, Okay. Okay, so uh, let's uh, introduce further the, the context that I'm going to talk about. So as I said, in my parameter space of smooth, uh, smooth uh, uh, surfaces is a kind of center around the, uh, the Fermat. So this means that uh, I will just look this space as a perturbation of, uh, of my Fermat variety. So at the end, xt is given by ft equal to zero. And since Fermat is uh, smooth, uh, then uh, for, uh, for a little bit this perturbing Fermat, I will have again a smooth variety. So this, this notation, it's a classical notation. This is just the, this is the usual, uh, this is the neighborhood of zero in t, and this is the usual neighborhood. Usual neighborhood. In the center, it's not a Zariski neighborhood. This is just really very, very small neighborhood of uh, zero uh, inside it. This means that I will not go away from uh, Ferma uh, and uh, the hypersurface that I will consider in this in this stock they are uh, near to, uh, to Ferma. So I, I have, you see that I have paired to admit all monomials of degree D and, and let, Okay, let, I don't know, let, let me see if I can solve this problem. I don't know, okay, anyway, there is some technical issues, I don't know. I, uh, okay, uh, well, uh, I think it's not so bad. So the point is that if I take a cycle, in dimensional cycle, this will be a homologic class. Then uh, from the C infinity point of view, you know, there is no obstruction to transport this, uh, this cycle to nearby Fikert. So this means that for any T, I, I will have this, uh, this, uh, uh, this topological cycle. Remember my uh, the, the picture that I, I put at the beginning. So this is the, this is the x zero, and when if this is the x uh, x t, for example, if my cycle is uh, for example this this one delta zero, so any perturbation also uh, will give uh, uh, this topological cycle will 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 survive. And the point is that from the topological point of view, the, to the cycle will survive. But if, of course, you, if you want to uh, you take algebraic cycle or Hodge cycle, it will not uh, survive. And this is uh, uh, and our story of uh, Hodge cycle, Hodge start uh, from uh, from here. Uh, okay, so. So what is the goal of the, of uh, of uh, this talk? I want to find more Hodge cycles for hypersurfaces. And uh, well, I have, uh, this is a uh, part of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Andrea Whale uh, comments. So, uh, 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 well, I per personally, uh, uh, I don't care if the Hodge conjecture is true or not, but I think if I want to, uh, to choose one of them, 
it's true or not, I will choose that. I don't believe that the Hodge conjecture, Hodge conjecture is true. So let's, uh, my mentality is now that the Hodge conjecture must be false. So there must be some Hodge cycle, which is not algebraic, but what is Hodge cycle? Hodge cycle is a topological cycle. So I want to produce more and more uh, Hodge cycles with the hope that at some point it will be a country example. And actually, there are a lot of uh, uh, there are a lot of examples in the literature. I have mentioned here uh, uh, for uh, for abelian variety, it is very 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 classical because the topology of abelian variety is just uh, uh, have to say torus circle times circle times circle. But uh, and uh, of course, if you do in the general context of algebraic geometry, making product of algebraic varieties and so on, then you can produce more. Uh, this this under Wales uh, cycles Hodge cycles are I mean, when you are doing uh, uh, you are the whole algebraic variety is your world of varieties, but uh, when you when you focus on hypersurfaces, finding Hodge cycles, which of course they are not uh, you don't know where uh, you don't pick up uh, algebraic cycle. It's very difficult, and. Uh, Okay, uh, well, uh, let's uh, skip this technical problem. And uh, so the idea is that uh, 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 nobody has been able to write down explicit hype cycle for hypersurfaces, except for the Fermi variety. I mean, uh, the Fermi variety is still the Hodge conjecture is true. But the idea is that we want to go beyond Fermi variety because Fermi variety has a lot of symmetries, description of Hodge cycle becomes easier. But if I take, I give you arbitrary. Uh, Hypersurface, it will be impossible to, to, uh, to decide whether it has a non trivial uh, a hot cycle or not. And actually, what I will say in this talk, uh, you can, uh, uh, the hot cycle that I will show in this talk, they are themselves are conjectural. They are obtained after a lot of computer computations. And I want to give you this feeling that it is uh, it's really a hard work. Okay, so let's define the, the uh, what is a uh, Hodge uh, loss site. Uh, <clears throat> so you have, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I will take a Hodge cycle in the Fermi. So this the delta, actually any, it can be any Hodge cycle, but I will take, uh, since the in Fermi, I know this uh, linear cycles, so the idea is that I, I will start from algebraic cycle. So in this case, delta zero is sum of R i p n half. There are a lot of them. So I will make a, a linear combination of them, the homology class. And I, as I said, the delta t can be perturbed to h n x t zero. But of course, even so that you start from a hot cycle delta zero, delta t is not necessarily a hot cycle because uh, remember that if you go to the cohomology, delta t also must land on this uh, piece of the Hodge decomposition. So it is a natural- well, Can I ask a question? Can yeah. I ask a question? So uh, in the Fermat case, are those p and over twos, do they generate the, all the hot cycles? Or? Okay, for this one, uh, I mean, you have to go to the, the, the Shioda. Yeah. Around 90, 80, I skipped this part uh, from my talk to uh -huh. save a little bit of time. I, 80s, he's, he tried to verify the Hodge conjecture using the linear. Uh, uh, this right, the, the, the linear from our, then uh, uh, the condition is that he was able to group with this condition. N, D, D, and N plus one factorial must be co prime. And I think some, uh, some small uh, the dimension and degrees. But basically, for uh, for with this condition, they generate the, the space of a hard. Uh, I see those those line, those uh, projective spaces yeah. that you wrote down. Yeah. But uh, okay, but okay. Uh, still, the, the full uh, hard conjecture uh, for Fermi is open because the, this condition appears. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, okay. This means oh. that for Hodge, uh, for uh, even for uh, for Fermat varieties, you you have to construct new algebraic cycles. And actually, right. there are some constructions from products, right? From you take two, like for example, you can map two Fermat product two Fermat curves to a surface, and then do something with that. 
Or no, I maybe. would actually no, no, no. I, this 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 will show the, a kind of recursive structure of the Fermi variety, but it will in the case of lines, it will not produce new algebraic cycles. Actually, okay, okay. And after that, after Shioda, a students of uh, of uh, Shioda called Aoki, and actually Shioda and Aoki, they they construct another one. They they further verify the Hodge conjecture, but it's still in the uh, the Hodge conjecture for full Fermi variety is still open. I see. Okay. Okay. So let's. Uh, well, uh, actually, in the previous versions of this talk, I was also putting slides about this story and so on. But anyway, thank you for. Okay. Uh, anyway, so it is uh, when uh, when you have a uh, let's say this Hodge cycle. Let me. Here, I took it the linear combination of uh, of this uh, linear cycle. So let's call them this linear cycle. Then it is natural to, to define the Hodge locus in this way. So what is will be delta zero? It is the locus of points in, in the neighborhood of, uh, of zero, the Fermat, such that delta, well, delta automatically it is here, but the condition is that delta must be also in this uh, middle piece of the Hodge decomposition. Well, it is, this is the, the most, uh, uh, let's, I would say very ugly, Definition, not ugly. Let me say what's the word I want to use. This doesn't uh, clarify anything. And actually, if you make, uh, uh, let's say, better definition, that I will not write it here because I will need the uh, Griffiths basis, Hodge filtration, and so on. But anyway, first of all, this will be analytic variety. This is not clear from the definition because this definition is a kind of set theoretical definition. But uh, more, uh, more uh, uh, problematic, this is not even, not, it is even uh, something finer than analytic variety. It is actually analytic, uh, let's say, space or uh, let's say, uh, scheme. So, what I am saying, it is the zero set of holomorphic functions. And uh, let's say actually a VI, uh, delta zero is the zero set, uh, zero set of some ideal. This ideal is a ideal of germs of holomorphic functions in here to Fermat. And uh, basically we can determine uh, how many, uh, how many generators do we need. But the, the point is that this F i's, maybe I'm not F i is not good. To, okay, and this F i's, they are holomorphic function. They are not, they do not belong to algebraic geometry. They are purely holomorphic. This, they, have, this, they have to do with the periods, uh, the Taylor expansions of the period. I think in the seminars you have seen uh, uh, this maybe Gauss hypergeometric function and so on many times. So they are this, uh, this transcendental function. And so it will be purely local analytic objects. And actually this will be also a very big problem for us. They are actually, they are ideal, they are the natural ideals that defines these objects, they might be non-reduced. And in a few minutes, I will tell a few example, which this ideal is non-reduced. And so your scheme is not uh, uh, reduced. Okay, uh, so uh, the, my goal was to, to find, uh, let's say, uh, 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 let's say uh, to the, a little bit try to describe this v delta zero in an explicit way, and at the end um, I will focus. At, and it turned out well. I took the sum of two linear cycles, and I did a lot of computations for uh, uh, many of these linear cycles. At the end of the day, it turned out that only this case is a kind of mysterious. And I want to tell you uh, 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 the, th uh, the, the story here. Let me see. Okay, no, I think in this way I can, okay. So, so the, 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 the point, for example, uh, so I will take this one of these two linear cycles and they will intersect in this uh, projective space. And so uh, my discussion will make sense uh, not for surfaces, even so a lot of ideas come from the surfaces, so it will, it will make sense after dimension four. And so uh, what is this? For example, this is in the case of n equal to four. This is two P2. 
So uh, n half minus three is minus one, p minus one means the empty. And so the, I'm considering the com linear combination of two P two in uh, the, everything is in P five, which do not intersect it. And at the end, everything is inside uh, uh, a smooth, uh, uh, a smooth uh, uh, hypersurface. And if you want, uh, and uh, since the title of my talk carries cubic, from now on, you can also put always uh, d equal to uh, the three. Okay, so what is the, so let's go. Mm -hmm. So first of all, let me say something about the co-dimension. The co-dimension of the, uh, the Hodge loci, it's a kind of uh, well-known uh, things. We can, we know that it is, uh, it is uh, bigger than or equal to this one. And the upper bound we know also. Uh, if you want, therefore, you can forget the, the upper bound. But uh, remember that uh, this number already appeared in my talk. This is the co-dimension of the space, hypersurface containing a P and half. And, uh, and, and actually it turns out that uh, uh, this, in this case, this V delta, if the V is a co-dimension of uh, uh, V delta is this one, then the V delta is just the branch of uh, this space crossing, crossing the Fermat. But anyway, uh, uh, I don't, uh, uh, for this, I have to write down the precise statement, but uh, I want just to, to show the, 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 the the range of co-dimensions. So let me see. Okay, before before going to the to, to announce uh, the, the the main result, the main computations that I did, let me introduce another uh, another uh, algebraic cycle because I will need it in uh, in the table that I will show you. This is higher dimensional cubic scrolls. So then let us call it a Z. So so then uh, if you take uh, G1, G2, G uh, and half minus one, and then you have this Fig. These are all linear equations. Uh, this, this means that then they are just uh, uh, of the form uh, I x i, I equal to zero and uh, plus one. And, uh, and so this means that this algebraic cycle contains n half minus one uh, linear cycles. And there are also, if you write down this one explicitly, these are quadratic uh, equations. No? So the rank of this one is less than equal. This means that the determinant of this one is uh, zero, the determinant of this one is zero. And of course, the ter determinant of this one together with this one is also a zero. So I will call them, uh, let's say, cubic uh, uh, scroll. Okay, so let's, well, well, the main result, the main table, the main computation, whatever you want to call it, uh, it is hidden in this, uh, this table. And uh, I will try to explain what kind of data exists in this uh, table. So as I said, put d equal to three, we will be interested in cubic hypersurfaces. Well, the, this, is the, this is the dimension. So the dimension of four, six, uh, 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 eight, 10, 12. So at the end, this is cubic uh, tenfold. Uh, well, even so parts of the height number, you don't see it. So let's go to this, this column, but the Hodge numbers are a, a kind of uh, symmetric. So, uh, um, so in, in, in this, uh, this uh, so this, these things that you see, these numbers are the dimensions of the middle cohomology. So this is the dimension of a dimension of h n half, h n half. Okay, so well, uh, this is the well the dimension. I I have to reduce uh, well because of the action of automorphism group of p n plus one. 
I could reduce, I, I will write a parameter space of higher surfaces uh, of less dimension than the full parameter space. So this, you can also forget this one, this, this column, this is just the number of parameters uh, that I took for my hypersurface. Uh, the range of co-dimension it is written uh, in this uh, in this in this part. You see that for cubic fourfold, the, all the all the Hajdou size are of co-dimension one, and actually in this case integral and uh, in, yeah, the Hodge conjecture is true, and uh, and even the well the, the rational first by Griffiths and Clemens and then the integral by Wazan. But uh, you see that it's starting from. Uh, Cubic sixfold, the range of co-dimension uh, for uh, for uh, for cubic hypersurfaces starts to be something non-trivial. It will be the, here uh, in this case. It will be between four and eight. In this in this case, it will be between ten and forty-five, and so on. It's getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so far, uh, so this is. Uh, Preparation to a little bit read the, the, the data. So the main uh, computation actually it is in this box. So this uh, this the, the first uh, the first uh, columns is also I already talked. This is uh, the space of uh, of uh, of hypersurfaces containing a p n half. This is actually. Uh, of course, uh, this is uh, the, the first column is actually this this number that uh, I, I wrote here because it was the minimal codimension. So, so for example, uh, the codimension of the let's say let's say this one the codimension of the space of cubic fourfold containing the plane is of dimension four. Codimension of uh, cubic sixfold of uh, containing a p tree of a is uh, 10 and so on. So this one also I, I already talked. And uh, so the, the, we, we get also the cubic scroll. So this CS means uh, the, the cubic scroll. And so the, uh, you remember that cubic scroll was given by linear equations and quadratic equations. So it is natural that a lot of cubic hypersurface contain these guys. So if you compute the codimension of, uh, of the space of cubic hypersurfaces containing cubic scroll, you will get these numbers. And, and well, uh, and yeah, okay. So I will focus on this uh, third uh, column. So this is, uh, let me, let me try to. Okay, so this this uh, this is codimension. Actually, this is a conjecture. As I said, the Hodge loci that I get at is uh, uh, they are even uh, the conjecture. This is the uh, the Hodge loci corresponding. To sum of two linear projective uh, algebraic cycle in the format that I mentioned, R and R check integers of course not equal to zero. And if you want, you put uh, R and R check uh, co prime. And what is the well? Uh, uh, what is the let's say the, the interesting about this uh, conjectural codimension computation. The point is that this is this guy, this guy that the hydrosi that you see here, if this is, if this codimension is, if this, this, this numbers are really uh, correct, this is much bigger bigger than the deformation space mention space of hypersurface together with two uh, uh, linear cycles. 
what I am saying, uh, you will get Hutch uh, in, uh, uh, you will get a Hutch uh, uh, cycle you can, for which you cannot verify the Hutch conjecture using this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, original uh, uh, linear cycle that you started. And, uh, and uh, well, once, uh, maybe I have to try to explain why this is, uh, this is in the conjectural, uh, this computation, uh, uh, this, this statement is a conjecture. Remember that I told the Hodge locus is a purely analytic, uh, 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 analytic scheme. So it is given by zeros of, uh, uh, no. z z zeros of uh, holomorphic functions. So in order to compute its uh, actual dimension, there is no method in, uh, uh, there is no method uh, to compute its dimension because we, we have the Grobner basis and stuff and so on in the commutative algebra context, which computes the dimension of the variety and so on. But there is no method to compute the, uh, the, 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 the dimension of an analytic variety, even so when I give you the analytic equation of uh, that variety. And uh, so, uh, the, uh, I put the conjecture and what I do uh, with computer, we ju I just truncate all these formal power series. They are very ugly uh, for, for, uh, uh, for, well, power series. When I write the Taylor series of this analytic function, I truncate them and then I start uh, computing the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, di the dimension. And, uh, and, but anyway, if, if you are not, if, uh, at, at the end, I will tell, I will try to tell something uh, very more explicit. And so I think this, if, if really one proves that this, uh, this, this proves, uh, one proves this conjecture, these are a better candidate uh, to be a counterexample to the Hodge conjecture. And the reason is that the components of the Hodge loci which uh, parameterize uh, uh, components of the Hodge loci of, of uh, very small co-dimension, they must parameterize simpler algebraic cycles. And this philosophy comes from the case of surfaces that uh, the Hodge loci, it is called not the left shift loci, and uh, I will skip here. And for, in order to get some evidences, I started to compute the, or the co-dimension of many other loci uh, let's say uh, cubic hypersurfaces containing some well-known, uh, well-known, uh, 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 well-known algebraic cycles, and it turned out that between these two numbers, I didn't get any codimension of Hodge loci, and all of them they were above uh, above uh, this uh, this this uh, this component that I was uh, I was discovering, and well. If you have not, uh, if you have not, uh, if I mean, if if even if uh, it is difficult to explain these ideas, at the end I will put very simple problem regarding this number ten, and uh, you can forget what our uh, I told uh, so far. And so uh, just to, to tell that uh, the, even uh, this uh, these computations uh, uh, i had to do a lot of writing a lot of codes and so on and the main reason maybe i have to say the main reason that the parameter this all this computation passes in the parameter space t alpha and you see that the, the this parameter space of our hypersurfaces are very big dimension for example if you consider a polynomial of degree 20 in this all this T alpha, it will be uh, the, the size of this polynomial with something in the in terms of gigabyte. Uh, you have to talk uh, think, and so uh, that's why uh, the computations are not so. so uh, uh, you cannot do it by hand. And the the main goal of uh, of uh, uh, well, and this. Uh, uh, the, the, the books that I wrote, the idea was that I want to find height cycles and I want to construct algebraic cycles explicitly. Uh, Ramesh asked me about the uh, Hodge conjecture for, about, uh, for Fermat. 
And uh, the, uh, one of the reasons that we, we don't know even the Hodge conjecture for FEMA, that we, uh, the reason is that we don't know a full list of algebraic cycles for FEMA variety. We just uh, know this, this linear cycles and maybe Aoki Shioda wrote uh, another cycle, but they are not enough. So constructing algebraic cycles is not enough. Okay, so if so far, the, the, uh, the, the, the talk was obscure for you, just forget everything that uh, I, I said, and I will put very, very simple problem. And uh, purely algebraic uh, uh, geometric, and actually it, it, it has to do with this, uh, uh, this number 10. Oops. Okay, so I will explain uh, uh, the thing that I was explaining in a very, very simple example that I found it by accident, actually but it contains the, the, the whole, uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, philosophy that uh, I, am, I am following. So I will consider a Veronese embedding of P to in P phi by degree due to monomials. So just, uh, uh, <clears throat> so this is, uh, so let's, let's go. P, why? Okay, so let's call this one Z tilt. Image of this one, let's call Z tilt. Okay, put this P5 inside P7. I mean, just consider a P, this P5 as a linear subspace of P, but this is P7. And take a point outside of uh, this uh, P5, let's say P, and uh, cons consider a cone. So it cones means that you take the li lines and connect the points to the, to the Z tilt. Okay. So Z tilt itself by dimension two, when you consider this one dimension, let's call this cone Z, dimension of Z will be Three. Okay, so you, I, I get three dimensional sub variety of P7. Now consider space of cubic, cubic six folds containing. containing this Z tilt. I mean, Z tilt is not fixed, so everything might vary. P5 uh, is moving, Z tilt might, uh, uh, by automorphism of P5, you, you move Z tilt, and then uh, oh, by automorphism of P7, you move also Z. So at the end, you consider this is space. Let's call this one, uh, let's say, uh, le let's call it the T tilt. So this T tilt inside, is, in, is inside my full parameter space of a cubic six fold. And it is easy to, to compute its co-dimension. Co-dimension of T tilt is 10. But if you co-dimension of the Hodge loci, uh, I wrote an upper bound. This will be less than Eight. So this uh, picture will give me for sure and not conjectural a new Hutch cycle. So I want to uh, explain this one. Uh, there is no more. Sorry, did you mean containing Z or Z tilde? Because Z was uh, a no, Z tilde Z was two dimensional. Two dimensional and Z, oh, sorry, it's Z, exactly. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's a Z. yeah okay. So, so the point is that anyway, this, uh, this, this Z, when it is inside cubic surface, cubic six fold, this will be, it's a homology class. It will give me a Hodge cycle in H six Z. So it is, a, uh, it is a, it's algebraic cycle, it is a Hodge cycle and so on. And when I consider the corresponding Hodge loci, 
So let's call this one. You see that the, it's co-dimension, co-dimension, uh, uh, co-dimension, it's co-dimension is less than eight. So let me call this one, uh, let, let's say, let, let, I make this picture for VZ. So let's start from some point, uh, let's say zero, may it might not be Fermi. But uh, the space of hypersurfaces containing this type of algebraic cycles, let's say I, I called it this T tilde, this actually T tilde is global, but my V bracket Z is local. This is, uh, so this is of dim uh, co dimension 10. So this is of co dimension eight. What it means that at the end is T tilde locally, it's a proper sub variety of the Hodge side. So the moral of this story that if I take this delta, so I call, I call let's say delta zero. So let's call this x zero. X zero is not necessarily Fermi in this case. And if I go to this point T, delta T in H six X T Z, I will get a, a Hodge uh, cycle but of course, this Hodge cycle, I cannot verify the Hodge conjecture just by deforming this, uh, this, this Veronese uh, cycle. And, uh, and uh, uh, so, uh, so the problem, what? Well, so the problem is, uh, uh, is this one. Let me see if I will play it. Okay, maybe I write here. So if we believe, that the Hodge conjecture for cubic six fold is true. I think it is true because cubic six fold, uh, they have a Hodge number like, uh, uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, surface. But anyway, assuming the Hodge conjecture, what this, uh, what this, uh, 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 what this, uh, this will imply, uh, this will imply that this Z is homologous. This Z zero, right? let's put the starting from X zero, let's put X zero. And then uh, Z0, Z0 is homologous to another algebraic cycle, Hayek cycle. In this case, let us say some uh, RI, ZI, I don't know. Uh, and since, uh, well, uh, the, since let's, we, we assume the, let's say, let, let's assume the integral Hodge conjecture, even deciding whether integral conjecture is true or false in, in certain situation is difficult, or uh, I equal to one until S. So this means that uh, this will be a homologous uh, to another algebraic cycle such that, let's say, let's, let's, let's call this one uh, C, such that C has bigger, therefore, Mation space. What I am saying, it's like a kind of similar uh, uh, things as for Z. The space of hypersurfaces containing this type of, uh, uh, of C must be, of course, strictly less than, uh, the co-dimension of the space must be strictly less than, uh, uh, less than A. And, but the point is that we don't know how to construct algebraic cycles. I mean, it is like, uh, uh, if I give you a Diophantine equation uh, the, to find a rational solution for the Diophantine equation, even so, it is a purely complex uh, context. Uh, but uh, constructing such objects becomes very uh, difficult. Okay, so I think uh, uh, I am done. If you have any question, uh, uh, let me know. Thank you. Okay, thanks, uh, Hussein, for a fantastic talk. Uh... Uh, are there any questions? I guess just give him a hand first and then ask questions. Yeah, what uh, kind of software one uses for these kind of computations? Okay, well, the point is that I well, I use the singular. Okay, yeah. But I think this is uh, this is not the best uh, the best one. And recently, I, when I was using. Uh, uh, you, going back to the whole their homepage, the, the maintenance of the, 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 the web, their web page, uh, it's becoming poor and poor. For example, the search machine does not work and so on. But I think, uh, uh, well, I, in order to get more evidences uh, to this, this computation, it's better maybe to, to program it in other languages and 
to use better computers. I see. Okay, thank you. But I did the computation with singular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's basically playing with polynomials. So. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Hey, I have a question, Jose. Jose. Yeah, yeah. In, in the QB, in the QB case, you choose this M. Why you don't choose the, the other M when M is N over two minus two? Okay, okay. So this is the point. The other cases, uh, they're not so mysterious. So this is the point. I did this one also, I skipped. For example, in this, uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the thing, well, where is the, where is the writing? Oh, my pen is not writing anymore. Okay, so you see that in the, in this column below L, this has to do with linear cycle. There was some result uh, uh, by me, by Roberto, that's saying that at the end, uh, uh, you can verify the Hodge conjecture by just deforming your, uh, uh, by deforming uh, uh, your algebraic cycles. For example, the case of n half minus two will, will, uh, is reduced to this column, actually, this, this uh, CS column, cubic scroll column. And, uh, and uh, below n, uh, n half minus three, also it was not mysterious because you can, one can also uh, prove the Hodge conjecture just by deforming the original algebraic cycle. This, 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 this one was one of them, uh, this, 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 uh, this M column is the, 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 the one that I cannot verify the Hodge conjecture by deforming the original algebraic cycle that I started with. That's why, uh, but, and of course, if you put a more linear cycle, the point is that the computer doesn't do any computation for you because the amount of computation is so huge that, uh, that uh, you have to uh, find the old better algorithms, better strategies, and so on. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? Uh, if not, let's thank Hussein again. And uh, okay, yeah, hope, for, hope he wins a million dollars, maybe. <laughs> No, actually, the, the idea is that it is uh, it is wrong. So, but the, and the point is that but in, I think uh, <laughs> you'll win a million dollars whether you settle it, settle correct. it one way or the other, right? But uh, for the wrongness, the, the point is this one: if uh, if you find a country example, it will produce new conjectures, and according oh. <laughs> and according to Clay Institute, that this means that maybe you will get something like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You want to win the million dollars, <laughs> and and okay. and the, the, well, and the, the idea is not repetitive with you, uh, to prove or dis disprove it. I think the idea is that a good conjecture for me is a conjecture that uh, it uh, you can do something at least. In the in the, the case of Hodge conjecture, believing that it is false, I can do something. This is the, the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can produce some results, and this yeah. is the main uh, the, the issue. Otherwise, yeah, I have also thought a lot of other conjectures that at the end. Uh, Thinking about conjecture doesn't mean that your thinking is moving. Right, you build the whole edifice is built on conjectures. Actually, so. actually, I, at least I wrote two books. This is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Ramesh, for sharing also, and thanks, Professor Mawasati. Okay, thank wonderful, you. Wonderful okay. talk. Uh, and so, if there is no question, for a wonderful book. Yeah. See you. So we'll end the meeting now and. Will you send the slides also? Uh, which is, do you want this written slide with I mean, other writing? Mm, maybe or, not writing, but maybe other version. No, I, well, I mean, that, uh, the uh, printed one, it, there are a few words. No, I mean, it will not be clear. Maybe the, the, this one with the writing, it's a bit better if you want. Okay, anyone I mean, you I, can I, send, I send it to me. Books. Okay, I will send it. Yeah, them. okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.